Hello and welcome back to another episode of my bottom at Christmas save with St Mirren in the Scottish Premiership. I hope you're all well. Thank you, I'm delighted to be here. It's very exciting. You've made one signing since you last saw. It's this man, it's a throwback, Philippe Morais. Morai. It's very close to Junior Morais, but the A and the I are the other way around, so... God knows I'll be interchanging how I pronounce it all from now on, and I'm sure you do know that. Um, he's 35 years old, he's very old, he's very old, but we're only going to be here until the end of the season. So, he'll finish the season as 35 years old, so I'm fine, I'm fine with that. And for being 35 years old, still have 11 pace and 10 acceleration and agility, I'm actually quite happy with that. Very, very good technically. Just a bit of a creative spark that we might have been lacking. Hopefully he can be he can be what we're looking for, to be fair. Former Inverness Caledonian Thistleman, way back in the day. Uh, played for Hibs as well, and then moved on to England, Bradford, Bolton, most notably, probably. So, uh, here's hoping he can do the business for us. As you can see, today we play Hibs and then Kilmarnock, both at home. We probably take two draws at this stage. That's how things have been going. Oh, I forgot to mention, we did beat Peterhead in an absolute thrilling game. Um, I'll tr just comment down below, let me know your thoughts. Uh, what was the score? Uh, I'll give you a few seconds for that. Okay, right, you should all have either paused it and commented or just ignored my shite. But, um, yeah, it was a thrilling 1-0 win and we only scored once they went down to 10 men in the 87th minute. Dylan Connolly. Yeah, so that's good. So anyway, the team to play Hibs, Anik, Tate, Shocknessy, and McCarthy, Fraser, Foley in front of them, with Doyle moving across the box, the box midfield row, as Foon Sojo is now suspended, I thought it would be for the Dundee United game, but it's only coming to play now, Marais comes in as the advanced playmaker on attack now, and McAllister now attacking as well, as the inverted winger, Dermis on the left hand side, and Marais deep line forward, he was a bit isolated previously, so hopefully that will get him a bit more involved, and then when we do go to two up the top, he can then be the advanced forward with Obika eh, as the target man. Uh, get the ball wide basically and um, that's where we're probably most threatening and we've told them to press a bit higher and a bit more intensely so we'll see how that goes fourth place Hibernian uh, their team will be very scary I'm going to take a wild guess at that Only yes it is very scary Scott Allen Stephen McGinn thankfully not John McGinn Nisbet Murphy yeah yeah, they've got the works in there oh god we're underway at St Mirren Park as you can see looking at the league table us, Hamilton and Livingston are all very tight. We need to be breaking away from those two. Um, I can't see us getting anything from this game when Shortness is heading clearances like that. But oh well. Martin Boyle in. Yes, good block. Putting the bodies on the line, St. Mirren. That's what I like to see. Sha la 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 la. Christmas, St. Mern. Fleming Eck, that was close, wasn't it? Yes. I don't think what I said just there was words. Stephen Mays put um, St. Johnston 1 up against Rangers. It's equalised. Kamarnik beating Celtic. It's all going off, and we're playing Kamarnik next, so of course that's happening, isn't it? They'll be in good form and buzzing. Brilliant. Brandon Mason, no penalties today, please. That would be nice. Uh, David Gray, still about ancient. Has found the top corner. Second goal of the season. Surprised it's not his first. Sheer brilliance, apparently. An incredible goal. Yes, it was. Not much we could do about that. Um, defend that throw in a bit better. Maybe get a foot in Brandon Mason. But once oh, he gets the ball on the inside, finds the top corner. Oh, their movement too good for us. Who's shocked? It's, it's not me. Back to the bottom of the league. Brilliant. And they're going to come again after half an hour. Things are going to change. I don't know. I've tried so many different tactics. None of them seem to be doing any sort of business for us. But Doyle Hayes has won yeah, the ball. Stepped in. Kyle McAllister on the break now. Marias has scored. Junior Marias, yes. The man we can rely on. I don't know what I was trying to say there. I was going to say the one man we can rely on. I just went, the man. And then kind of stopped. Uh, it was a good break. A good counter-attack there. Uh, Doyle Hayes won the ball. McAllister, good ball. Slipped Marias in. Questionable from Marciano to just get on his knees. Interesting, but Marias took advantage of that and scored, so that is brilliant. Thank God we're not bottom for now. We're about to be bottom again. Uh, it went, it, it hit the bar. Um, thankfully not, not yet bottom. Let's get at half time, please. They've only had one shot on target. Absolute schmucks. Have that, you losers. Um, and thankfully Aberdeen have equalised against Livingston as well, so that's good for us. Sam Foley, let's go. Another goal, St Mirren. That's hitting hope to nobody. That's not going to do anything, is it? Um, 
Okay, yep, yeah, I thought we might have won it back there. It's certainly not. Alan, hit him. Get a foot in. Right, or... What is that defending? Just running alongside him. That's where we went wrong. Nail him. Or get the ball, ideally. That would be nice. I mean, don't let that happen. There, look. Boom, get in. There's recovering defenders, but no, no. Um, just doesn't even challenge him. Nothing. And the easiest finish you've ever seen for Martin Boyle. 2-1, we're going to go in at halftime, 8th goal of the season, again, so that's good, ah, god above, we are crap, aren't we, really, really bad, yes, okay, we're going to switch things up a little, we're pushing Junior Marais a little higher, no, Philippe Marais a little higher, Junior Marais then goes on to the pressing forward role, and it's uh, a deep line playmaking for Doyle Hayes, as we saw him do, we won the ball and then played a decent pass out to McAllister, and then Foley's moving up into the ball when he made the role. To be a bit more positive about things, St. Midden. We've created some decent chances, kind of. We've had four attempts on target, basically. But, you know, there's no reason we can't nick a point here. Other than the fact we're losing 2-1 and creating f*** all. 24 minutes to go. I tell you what, Philippe Marais is going to move out wide a little to invert the wing. You know, that's that's uh, the technical term, I believe. And Junior Marais is then going to advance forward. So he can get in behind, use his pace. And Big Obika, you guessed it, up top, the target man. Get him up there, bully the defence, maybe make something happen. I need something to happen, Junior, bleh, 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 John and Junior. Still absolutely nothing. Um, With 10 minutes to go, so McGrath is going to come on. And so is Connolly. We'll see how things go there, since uh, nothing's been happening, to be fair. And I think Sam, Coff Sam Foley's going to come off. For Ethan Erahan as well, see if he can make something happen in the midfield. Um, G Richard Tate on a terrible game. Ryan Flint, four substitutes is what's going to happen. Let's get that ball in the box. Big old Beaker needs to cause some problems. Da -da 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 -da. That's what we want to be saying by the end of the episode. Um, I'm not confident that's going to happen, but we'll see. Um, demand some more, maybe. Um, we're creating things, apparently, but we're not seeing any of them. A counter-attack, please. Yes, we've won the ball. Go on, Dylan Connolly. Let's nick the point here. He's breaking free. He's not needing anyone. Finish it, mate. He, that was so anticlimactic. It was unreal. Absolutely woeful. Bloody hell. So we've got pace and nothing else, essentially. So on to attacking. Just bloody welly up the park, to be honest. There's not much else to do. In added time, pretty even. Very even, in fact. We should have done way, way better. 2-1. Hibbs quality told. Um, we can maybe get something from Kilmarnock then. Let's see how that goes, shall we? You don't usually ask permission. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Gerard sacked my Rangers. Bloody hell. I could have easily waited until I had my mouth full of water for, to comment on it, but no, obviously I did not. That's surprising. Um, McInnes, go there, or actually someone who's managing Livingston or, or County or somebody, just help us out. Hamilton? No, probably not going to happen, is it? Yeah. Okay, the team for Kilmarnock, just a couple changes. Connolly's going to come in on the left-hand side instead of Durmus. And Ojo is coming back in from the suspension. Marais back to the bench. Um. Oh, God, right. This is a team game we can get something from. Be a point or three. I'm not too picky at this stage. Just need to get some points on the board. Yusuf Malumbu. Again, that's not filling me with confidence. But you never know. I won't tell them that. Um... Let's pump the fists. Get them up for it. Come on, lads. I expect nothing but a win. To see, no, no, no one really cares, do they? But basically, Junior Marais, Funso Ojo, and Joe Shocknessy. That's it. That's it. Nobody else is arsed. Ah, oh, God. Underway. It's not bottom of the league. A win would be really good for us. Get us up towards... Well, just away from the bottom two, to be honest. That's all I'm concerned about. A free kick. Kyle McAllister. Ten minutes on the clock. We've hit the bar. Bloody hell, that would have been brilliant. But no, no, it wouldn't have been a good start. It would have been too good to be true. It would have been a Christmas miracle, you could say. <sighs> but no, no, not not going to happen, it wouldn't seem. Sam Foley, we seem to be taking control of this game early on. 20 minutes on the clock now. Doyle Hayes breaking forward. Marias taking it on. His goal in the last game. This is some good football, but we can't finish for Toffee. Uh, that is quite concerning, isn't it? And the one person we thought could finish... Got injured uh, in his second game or something like that. But we've won the ball again. Still in control, it would seem. Food to Ojo in the middle of the park. Hit it. 
That was really bad though. Uh, but we've got another one. Here we go, Brandon Mason. We need to take one of these chances before they hit us with a sucker punch on their counter attack. A bit of urgency would be nice as well. Sam Foley in the middle of the park, dictating things a little bit, he seems to be. It's all haze. Come on then, let's go, St. Mirren. We've got men out wide a little bit. The fullbacks are quite high up. Let's get them on the ball. Yes, here is Richard Tate. Fire it in. Nope, okay, they're going to counter attack on us now. Yeah, brilliant. This is good. Amy Brophy in behind. Thankfully. He's as bad as we are. It would, uh, hmm. Should have said that. I really should have said that. But Richard Tate, let's go again. Come on, Funso Ojo. Oh, Funso. The Belgian Pirlo. Not quite. Close, but no cigar. Please, Funso Ojo. I want to see a cigar in your hand by the end of the game. Fingers crossed. But not before half time. Dominating. Absolutely dominating. But not got that crucial, crucial goal yet. It's a much better performance. I will tell them that. Uh, delighted. Keep it up. So they're listening now when they're saying, yeah, when I'm blowing smoke up their arse. Brilliant. Second half underway. Let's get a goal. Early on, ideally. Probably not going to happen, though, is it? And here is Danny Rogers with the first highlight of the second half. Um, very route one, but it's worked out for them. Pro in behind once again. Nicky Kabamba. <coughs> F*** off. <laughs> 15th goal of the season, well, we can't really complain about that, but they got in behind so easily, it's so route one and we've just not been able to defend it, this team is genuinely shambolic, I think we'll have to just take them back to absolute basics to be honest, and just women contain teams and say, come on then, come and beat us, and if they can't then we might nick something, instead of actually trying to play football, well the thing is we have been creating chances, but just not been taking them, and for that reason, Doyle Hayes is a bit knackered, Obika's going up, Alongside, and maybe I just need to go back to 4 4 2. Uh, St. Mirren will be playing 4 4 f***ing 2. Yeah, they will be. Connolly dropping back if they will allow me to do so. There we are, finally. Inverted wingers. Invert that wing play, baby. Whatever the f*** that means. Oh, I'm so fed up of this. Bloody, we're playing well and we're not winning games. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all, to be honest with you. Right, you box to box. You. Bloody playmake, you've been controlling things a little bit today. So let's see you do a bit more. Half an hour to go. Let's get back into this, please. We're dro dropping back into the playoff places. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Here's what you take with a throw in. John Obika, the substitute. Let's go. Create something. Get a decent chance. We seem to miss very, very decent chances. So let's make one that we cannot miss. Another one gone wide. Okay, and we come again from our throw-in once again. Give it away, but Funso Ojo does collect it. No messing about, please, St. Mirren. Let's get an equaliser. Sam Foley. Yes. Donnelly in behind. Yes, he's finally finished one. Third goal of the season, 20 minutes to go. We've been much, much better than him. Let's go and get another goal. A winner. Come on, we could do it. Let me know if you can, if you believe. Hit a like on the video if you do. Yeah, see, there we go. Um, I don't think um that'll happen. But I'm being let's try to you know breed confidence from the sidelines. Oh, it's not worked yet. Uh, maybe some singing. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas. Should we maybe make some more changes and then we might win. We're gonna go a little bit more direct, and Lee Irwin's gonna come on for Junior Marias. I'd see if that happens, and um, that happens, if that does anything, it's definitely happening, because um, he didn't really do anything, there's some tired legs in there though, Foley, he's on a yellow, we'll take on Erdogan and get, no we won't, we'll take on Junior Marias actually, I'd see if he can be a little creative spark, um, Mazala, yeah, go for it, this is a bit exotic for St Mirren, a Portuguese player playing Mazala, um, anyway, but uh, McGrath's going to come on as well, as a winger, See if we can win it late on. Nick it. Please, St. Mirren. We deserve to get something against Hibs. We definitely deserve to win this game. Look at that. But no. Not happening. Not going to happen. A point. Not terrible. We really should have got three looking at that. Definitely should have got three. Their goal was just absolute shite defending. And our finishing, not clinical enough. It's worrying. But it's a point on the board. So, it's not all bad. <laughs> um, it is, however... Aberdeen and Celtic next, so probably not going to get much on that. Having said that, the Curtis main event is out, so we do have a chance, let's be honest. It's 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 possible. If you've enjoyed this video and you believe we can get something out of those two games, please hit like, subscribe to stick around. I'm still aiming for 400 subscribers by the end of the year. We're about 15, 20 off right now, so any help would be massively appreciated. Tell a friend, uh, check up on them as well. Check out my Football Manager videos. Uh, 
They're all football manager videos. Bloody hell. My Newcastle videos. I need a lie down. Take care, everybody. Bafo Napoli. Oh, yeah, and this as well. Actually, need that back for the thumbnail, so that was a bit stupid. Don't know why I always do it. There we go.